All right, hello everyone, we're back. So my name is Family Man, here with the trick, well, I don't know, there's probably many easy ways to do this. I probably made it way more difficult than it had to be, but I need to cut out a triangular piece for a desktop. So I got this sheet of plywood here, and I know the dimensions. Of course, the place where I'm putting it is not square, because I put it into a corner of a room, and it's off a little bit. I knew the dimensions, I needed 65 inches by 65 inches, by 92 and a half inches. But every time I tried to write it out, it wasn't coming out right. And I'm sure there's something like this, or maybe you can do this with uh, um, tape measures. But uh, so what I did was get a reference point. I got, I did measure one line for 65 inches. So I knew where 65 inches was. Then I measured with a string. I locked the string down in the corner. You just quite, can't quite see it here. I locked the string down in the very corner here at 65 inches. And then what I did was just, once I had it locked down, I just clamped it there. Then I went to the line, the measuring point that I knew was 65 inches from that point, and I pulled the line tight. And I just took the, a string and put it right at that point, just kept the line tight and just went around. And it made like an arc, right? So I didn't have a 65 inch compass or is it a protractor? 65 inch protractor, which basically would have, I think that's what we're working on. Anyway, so, and I knew the 92 dimension for the length, so I made it out to 92. So I got one, one arc at 65 inches from that point. And what I did was take the string, lock it down at the 92 and a half inch mark, and then uh, measured out 65 inches on a reference point, got to that point, held the string, pulled it tight, held it there, held the pencil there and went, went along the arc there and got my point. And I was trying this all other kinds of ways. Like I said, a protractor, 65 inch, man, I can't remember, is it a protractor or compass? Whatever. The one that makes the arc when you put one point in and you do like a circle thing. Well, yeah, you do geometry, you do the two arcs, but it's just hard when you got a big old huge triangle. So this string worked really well. I was trying to measure I just just like a trial and error and I guess I could have eventually like wobbled it into the right place but this was way easier I got my point did the two lines and so it would have been easy if the wall was square I was trying to put this thing into because then you could just do a 45 and write off a 45 but that didn't work out it's a little bit more wider than that so anyway I hope that helps people um, I was racking my brain there for a little bit I was thinking about using a lot of tape measure but it's not really straight i mean it kind of bends and stuff like that if you had a long stick or something with different holes in it that you could just swing that'd probably be great but I didn't have anything like that you could probably make something like that real quick and there's probably a tool for doing triangles really easy but i don't have it and i don't i don't know about it so anyway i hope that helps someone out there that's having trouble doing triangles in a trying to put a triangular board into an area where it's not quite like 45 degree or stuff. It's got a weird angle. So yeah, I was racking my brain and it just, it was giving me some fits. So this is working out great. I'm gonna cut this out, it's gonna fit perfect. So um, thanks for watching everyone. I hope that helped someone out there. Have a great day.